What up, though, my boys? Look, I got a series, man. I don't know if everybody here watched Last Chance You, but I am a I am a diehard fan. I watched the football series and the basketball series. I just finished up uh, watching the basketball series about a week ago, and if you don't know about Last Chance You, it's basically it's basically about a whole bunch of promising college athletes that that somehow had you know mishaps happen in either college or high school so therefore they're at JUCO and it's their last chance to really make it to that next level not really to make I really wanted to make it a series and the team that they used on um, um on last chance you basketball was ELAC it was the ELAC Huskies East Los Angeles Community College and I put them in a the game bro I, I looked it up on um on 2k share and somebody had excellent, uh, excellent, you know, excellent look at the team. But you know, I couldn't just, I couldn't just put them in there without adding the Seattle, uh, the Seattle Supersonics. Had to add them. They deserve, they deserve, they deserve a team. So since they deserve a team, and I really want to do this series, let me uh, make myself a little smaller. So they deserve a team, and I really wanted to do this series. The series is going to be basically based around a bunch of players that were either scouted scouted high in high school that didn't really pan out in, in, uh, in the professionals, or players that were drafted really high in the NBA and didn't really pan out. So that's what I'm really going to be looking at here. As you can see, there's a lot of players here that are probably that are probably worthy of being on this team, probably on their last their last leg. Why is Jalen Duran here? That is crazy. I really want to pick him up, but you know, we know that he's gonna be a promising player. But there is a few players that was here that was either college stars, high school stars, that really didn't pan out in, in the NBA that I really want to pick up. Or maybe it's stars that's like on the last last end of their careers. Which is probably what I'm going to be looking at as well. But I think, let me see if he's uh if he's on here. He's probably not. He's not. But I want to kill Ian Hayes. I know I'm a Pistons fan, and I sound a little biased. I really want to kill Ian Hayes, but I do see Dennis Smith Jr. And I feel like that's a perfect story. I mean, he's having a he's having he's he's having a really good season this year. But I mean. Come on now, what's a what's a more perfect person to have on a team than Dennis Smith? Top, I think he was number one or number two in his class. He was a he was a he was a top pick in the NBA draft. You know, so I have to pick him up. But it's I, I know with some players on here that's probably like they deserve that second chance. R.J. Hampton going through this list. R.J. Hampton, yeah. RJ Hampton this is a really good player now let's, let's go try to look more so position wise uh, I think I have my point guard my shooting guard mm, yeah I have my point guard my shooting guard Cam Reddish Cam Reddish I'm gonna do my starting lineup I'm gonna do the rest of the draft and I'll show you guys at the end but let's get through the power forward and center Looking, I'm just looking for players that, you know, you guys, you guys are picking up what I'm putting down. It's kind of hard because they do have a lot of young players already in here. Um, Stanley Johnson, do I want to do that? That I don't think I want to do that that early. That's just not a smart pick. Let's go to the center. Let's go to the center. Um. I think I want to do Jackson Hayes, and the reason I'm doing Jackson Hayes is he was he was he was scouted pretty high, and him being scouted pretty high, and he's not really panning out like everybody thought he would. You know, I want to give him that second chance. Skip it, y'all. We going with Standable. 
pissing great world. I will see you guys after I'm done with the whole draft. I promise. I will make it. I will make it. I will make it an interesting series, and I'm gonna keep up with this one. A final roster. And I think, I think what I'm gonna do each episode, I'm gonna probably simulate a few, maybe like, maybe like a couple weeks, and then key in on one game and play that game out. Do some changes on the team, whatever, whatever the comments say. And I got a question. Let me know if you want me to add former bust like Anthony Bennett. You know, people like that. I don't know. That's that's the idea I have. I, I want to add people like Anthony Bennett and people like that. That just never really panned out. That, that are probably still young enough to make it to the league. Or like do something. Uh, but yeah, this is what the team like. It doesn't look bad, if you ask me. It does not look bad. I even added Frankie Smoke, Luca Garza. Uh, I'm probably going to give Luca Garza and Kenny Lofton full-time deals just so they can play but I also wanted to take a look at free agency to see if there's like any players that just wasn't on um you know in the draft that I can just add to the team I think I'm gonna give Sekou a three-year deal as well and see what he's doing because he's 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 fucking athletic the man is athletic we got money to blow off but uh, yeah, the man's athletic. Uh, it was just consistency, jump shot. He got he got overshadowed as well. But I mean, when he when he got opportunities, I feel like he could have took advantage of it a little bit more. Um, let's see if there's anybody else here. That's not an auto-generated player. They are everywhere. And they hit like 90 overall pretty quick. Post this. Scotty Lewis was ranked number seven overall in high school, number one small forward, and nothing has panned out for him. I'll give him, I'll give Scotty Lewis a couple years. I'm back with the final roster. I'm back with the final roster, and I'm not mad at it. I got Dennis, RJ Hampton. Cam Reddish, Sekou, a Yurt 7 starter. Defense, the, the whole year, we're probably going to lose. And speaking of the draft class, I mean, uh, of, of the draft class, I, what I did was I used a 2K auto generated draft class because we all know that Victor Wimiyama in any draft class that anybody makes, pretty OP. So I just used a auto generated pro, a draft class and I made it to where 12 people are playing. Why not? We didn't. We not we not playing for nothing. We're not playing for nothing at all. So I think the first game I think I wanna play the first game of the season. And then sim probably all the way to this Lakers game. Yeah, sim to this Lakers game. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. Um, let me just make sure all of my settings. And I don't think I'm gonna be playing the full game. Probably just gonna simcast in them after a while. And then, and then probably picking up next video, I'll start playing the full game. But this first game, we're not looking bad against the Brooklyn Nets. I think I'm gonna jump in. What, 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 what is going on? Couldn't ask. Don't ask me. I don't know. But um, yeah, man. I'm, I'm actually, I'm actually shocked to see what's. You know, see everything. All right, we are up 109 to 89. They're losing to a bunch of rejects. And Sekou is out. Hold on first. Let me show you. Everything is on Hall of Fame. So that's 2K. It has nothing to do with me. But I don't think I don't think I don't think that this team is gonna be able to pick this up for the whole season. And I did leave injuries on just to make it more realistic. Cause I know if I keep injuries off, some players are never gonna get a chance to play. And we're out here dogging out KD, Ben Simmons, and Kyrie. Unless somebody got hurt. Yurt seven. Oh man. Oh man. What a, what team did I build here? I built some young some young hungry folks. That's what I was looking for though. I was looking for people that are hungry. 
it, the badges is going to be a problem because I don't because I don't think a lot of them have badges at all. So I'm probably going to make some trades for some players that I feel like could, could really could really shine on this team. But that but that'll come later on. I'm not mad at what the team looks like though. It's a, it, it looks like Sekou is the one that is like holding his own against everybody, which everybody expected out of him, but it just never happened. This easy on Hall of Fame. Maybe I need to to make the you know make everything a little bit more harder. Personally, go inside and you know mess with the custom stats. There should be no reason why we're blowing teams out. Not the first game of the season with zero chemistry. The only thing that all these players have in common is that they're bust or like they're they haven't really had the opportunity either. Or. Oh yeah. Oh, I thought I had a dunk right there. All right, let me uh, let me go ahead and put it in the bench. See what the bench is working with. I just want to know who's going to be that leader on the team, you know? Who's going to be that person that we can just lean on whenever we need a bucket or we need a defensive play? I'm... Let's go Let's go take a... We're, we are blowing them out. I think I'm going to just simcast the rest of that game instead of just watching a bench come in. We finish the game off. Let me take a look at these stats. Who let us in score? Sex, who? Shot 50%. He shot 50%. Um, had nine rebounds. The team, the team, the team playing well together. I'm not mad at it at all. Not mad. It's like I'm, sh I'm shocked. <laughs> I'm more shocked than anything. Um, but yeah, let me uh, let me simulate to that to the second Lakers game. Take it game by game. And we lost to the Pistons and lost to OKC. Looking a little bit more realistic. Aaron Naismith. Um, averaging 11 on the season, Sekou still he's he's averaging 18. Okay, I was, this is what this is what everybody expected out of him. Cam Reddish averaging 17. He has a huge role on this team. He's going to be the best shooter on the team for sure by by far. Um, we lost to OKC. Looks like the same the same thing happened. It like uh, Dennis Smith is more so taking that veteran role. Dishing out, you know, playing. He's shooting 66% from three, which is crazy. Um, let's simulate through this game. Not taking that trade. Okay, we're not winning, but we're scoring. Like everybody's scoring. RJ had a stinker of a game, but it looks like Sekou. Is Naismith starting? Let me go. Let me go check that. Is Naismith starting? He's not. Look at that. Near, uh, Aaron Naismith shooting 50, 50, 100 percent. RJ. Maybe, maybe he'll benefit more as a point guard. Maybe that's what I'll do. It's like I can. I'm, I'm like already picking up on RJ being better at. RJ being better at um where is he at? Yeah, RJ being better at point guard, especially as the backup point guard than he is at shooting guard. Like he's struggling out there. And I can just have Naismith start. Yeah, I think I would just have Naismith start. Um I'm just trying to see is there anybody else I can have? 
in that backup shooting guard position. I like Scotty. Scotty Lewis can hold his own back there. Um, yeah, it's, it's not looking terrible. And maybe I should put Scotty. as our starter. Let's see. Let's see how this game that can, hold on. I simulated three games on accident, but we did get a win that very next game. And Aaron Naismith is keeping up with that with that with that score. Looks like RJ is still still struggling a little bit. Um that's fine. I mean he's still super young. This second game against the Pelicans Naismith led us in scoring again. Let me guess, Aaron Naismith is he up there? The reality sat in a little bit. Say who? Okay, let's just uh, let's just finish simulating these games up until we get to that. We have a win right there, a win right there, and a loss. Okay, a, we are four and six. Not mad at that. I'm not mad at that. Um, Cam Reddish led us in this win. As well as Dennis Smith. Cam Reddish led us again. With RJ Hampton stepping up. And in this loss against the Clippers, Seku was our leading scorer. So let's go take a look at that. At the leading, at the season stats. Seku looks like he's leading the way. I mean, he's not shooting good at all. Don't get me wrong. He's taking his shots. He's getting his. But he's out there being aggressive, which is what we need on the team. Cam Reddish is second. We have a lot of 10-point-per-game scorers on the team. Frank Nilkeely is coming in, um, giving us six points off the bench. Sharif. Josh Okoji, he's not there. Hear me out. He's not there to score at all. I have him in there for defensive purposes only. And looks like Scotty Lewis. If Scotty Lewis is averaging two. Okay. I'm not mad at this. This is where I'm going to stop it, though. I'm going to stop it right here. And I know I don't need another guard. And I want to keep RJ. I don't want to get rid of RJ. Or Dennis. But it's the inner piston in me. And I talked about him at the beginning of the video. To see is there there's nobody on my team that I can get for killing Hayes. That's fine. I just wanted to see. I'm like, he just recently punched somebody. So maybe, you know, maybe he has a bad rep. I don't know. But look, you let me know in the comments if there's anything you want me to do. I really want to know if you want me to include players like, like um, like Anthony Bennett, players like that. You know, I can find a player model, include them. Maybe I can restore some careers, man. That's that's the whole plan here. We just we just here to restore some careers, get 